What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Saturday and that means it's time for another episode of What's New for Blue. So this coming Tuesday is a huge, massive brand new release week. We have a ton of brand new items coming out, starting off with one of the biggest box office hits of the entire year, and that is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. We are getting three 4K options as well as three Blu-ray options. So starting off with the 4Ks regular 4k slip cover we have the best buy exclusive 4k steel book as well as a 4k double pack of into the spider verse with across the spider verse now with the double pack on 4k I'm not 100% sure if that will be available in store or not. That may be an online only purchase, just to let you guys know, but that will be available. Now, personally for myself, I will go for the 4K and I'm going for the Steelbook. I really like the cover artwork. I didn't see this movie at the theater. I'm really looking forward to watching it. And the reason why I want the Steelbook is because I own the first film with a Steelbook and I do want to remain consistent. But if 4K does not matter to you and you're fine with a Blu-ray, there's three Blu-ray options as well, as I mentioned. So Walmart is stepping up their game yet again. We have a Walmart exclusive Blu-ray Steelbook for Across the Spider-Verse. We also have a regular Blu-ray, I'm going to assume with a slipcover, as well as an exclusive Target Blu-ray as well. So wherever you shop, whatever format you're choosing, there's plenty of options out there for you. Now continuing with Spider-Man, just in case you did not pick up the first film with the original Steelbook that was released a couple of years ago, they are reissuing Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Blu-ray Steelbook. That is a Blu-ray, not a 4K Steelbook. It is a Blu-ray Steelbook, but they are reissuing it. So in case you missed out on it for your collection, you do have a chance to pick it up. All right, let's move on from Spider-Man to The Expendables. We have The Expendables 1 through 3. They are getting 4K Steelbooks. Now, this is perfect timing because the fourth film is debuting in theaters, I believe, September 22nd, so just in a couple of weeks. And now is the perfect timing to put these movies out with nice Steelbooks. These are coming to us from Lionsgate. I like how these look. They don't have the most like crazy original cover artwork on the planet, but they're definitely different looking. I do like the red, white, and blue, you know, for each steel book. I like how that looks. So we'll see. I probably most likely will be picking these up. It's my man Sly. It's Jason Statham. I do enjoy the movies. They're cheesy, good fun. So I'm spending a lot of money on Tuesday. So let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on next to Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow is getting a 4K upgrade, 4K slipcover, as well as 4K steelbook. Now with this one, I have said it before and I will say it again, I'm not the biggest fan of the steelbook cover artwork. Plus I already do own the Blu-ray of this movie with a steelbook. So I would rather pick up the slipcover. That's personally my choice some of you may really enjoy the cover artwork of the steel book but i don't know it's just it's not really working for me so i would rather go with the 4k slip but it's definitely on my pickup list because i've come to really love this movie the past couple of spooky seasons i've been watching it year after year and it's become one of my favorite movies during this time so i will be picking it up all right, next up, we have Matilda, Matilda 4K Steelbook, as well as Night of the Comet on 4K. Now, when it comes to Night of the Comet, I've seen a lot of mixed reviews about whether I should pick this one up or not. I've never seen the movie. I will probably bypass because I'm picking up so many other items on this day that I can just let this one go for right now and just wait for a future sale. So Night of the Comet, Night of the Comet, there we go, I keep saying comment, no, Comet. I'll bypass on this one for now. I'll wait for a future sale. I don't need it right away. If I, if I don't know it, I'm not missing it. 
so I don't need it. As far as Matilda goes, this one is kind of a question mark for me as of right now. It is an awesome looking steelbook. It's got great cover artwork. However, I've never seen the movie. I don't have an attachment to this film. But with the artwork, it may be too good to pass up. Uh, I don't know. So this one is a big question mark for me as of right now at this point. Moving on next, we have Picard Season 3. I believe this streamed on Paramount Plus and they're putting it out on physical. They have been putting out all the Picard seasons. And so for Season 3, they are doing a regular Blu-ray. Also a Blu-ray steelbook as well as the complete series of Picard on Blu-ray. So if you waited, you wanted the entire, the entire thing, the whole shebang on Blu-ray, everything will be available to you this coming Tuesday. And it, it does have nice cover artwork. I do have to admit it does look nice, but I'm just not into Star Trek. I've never seen a movie. I've never seen an episode. It's just not my thing. So I am saving money there because I will not be picking it up. But if you're a major fan, then I definitely would take advantage of this. Then we have the Iron Man 4K Steelbook, the Silver Steelbook from Disney <laughs> that everyone is hating on. For some reason, when it came to Iron Man, We've been having these Disney silver, I almost said silver slipcovers. We've been having these Disney silver steel books coming out pretty much for every single 4K upgrade for every single Disney film. But for some reason, when it came to Iron Man, there was such a controversy about so much hate about the steel book. Don't get me wrong. I'm in agreement because I do not care for these. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I believe these are extremely lazy. Disney, you're celebrating your 100 year anniversary and all you're doing for your steel books, you're putting out simple silver steel books. To me, that is just so lazy. It's not creative at all whatsoever. But in case you've been collecting all of them, and I guess now they're starting with the MCU, Iron Man will be available on Tuesday. So let's just move on. <laughs> let's just move on and ride this out. So finally, with the big new releases, we have Harley Quinn Season 3 on Blu-ray and also our Criterion of the Week. And the Criterion of the Week is The Princess Bride getting its 4K upgrade. Now, when it comes to The Princess Bride, I personally already own the Blu-ray. There's no need for me to upgrade. It has a decent enough picture for myself. I don't need to upgrade to the 4K. I am good. And Harley Quinn season three, I do have Max. So if I ever want to watch this, which I probably should, I need to get on it because I love Harley Quinn. I'm always looking for brand new shows to watch. And I mean, I do focus on movies, but I like watching shows as well. So Harley Quinn could be an option in the future, but I don't need to own it on physical. So now we are getting into the titles that you're probably going to find online only or at Walmart on DVD format. And they are Dry Ground Burning, The Girl from the Other Side, and also Goodbye Monster. Next on the list is God is a Bullet, Master Gardener, and Black Circle. Then we have my... I almost said my dream lover, my demon lover. That's completely different. My demon lover, double trouble. And also it takes two finally ending with Barcelino and clam bake. So those are all the big new releases coming out this coming Tuesday. So comment down below and let me know what do you plan on targeting? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you next time.